What is going on guys? Gomer is here. Uh, I have to quickly record this. I am on my way to go fill out my will as it was my 60th birthday yesterday while I was anticipating the drop of the home run derby cards. Um, might be a world record speed run. Never been quicker releasing these. I'm sure it will be worth the wait. We have a 99 Juan Bartholomew Soto and many more goodies along the way. Subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. Leave a like if you guys do enjoy. We're getting some big gameplay. Probably going to open some of these packs here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Look at Mr. Juan Soto with the derby chain there. Sadly, it cost me some money today, you bastard. But I guess I'll forgive you if you look like that, man. 109-125 against righties. 105-125 against lefties. 50 speed. Makes me a sad guy. Makes me a sad guy, you know. Uh, that is tough. You know, it would take a world supply of Viagra to get excited about that. Um... 72 fielding 57 arm like nationals you want to increase this guy's trade value how about you teach him the third spot how about you teach him first base and see if he can stand with his foot on a square an elevated square and close his mitt if he can do that sure maybe i just uh increased your you know, trade value by getting an extra prospect there. Good card offensively, but fuck, man. Like, he has 57 arm and 50 speed. I don't know what would be faster getting it out of there. Uh, Lord knows. If you get into that situation, you're probably going to give up a run. Julio Rodriguez. Okay, yeah, baby. Who gives a shit about Juan Soto? Fuck yes. Oh, my God. I'm nearly going to spew. I'm going to spew. I don't care about 64 fielding. That is exactly what Trey Turner had last year. This is the best center fielder in the game. Good God. Good God. Oh my, I actually can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I thought they were going to decrease his speed. Uh, maybe it was going to be uh, like Julio Rodriguez after a nice Thanksgiving dinner. While well, he's watching a, a real ruckus of a... Cowboys versus Eagles, both team fighting for the fourth seed in the, a the NFC East game. But you know what? Wow, what a card. Pete Alonzo, I give a shit about the rest of these. Um, I'll be completely honest. He's got a lot of power. Who knew it? Uh, 94 90 contact. Uh, not a bad card, you know? I think there's certainly better options there. Uh, it's not a Frank Thomas replacement. No siree. Um, but a decent card. Something that you would consider an all-star war warrior. Absolutely. The contact a little difficult on Hall of Fame Plus, but hey, you know what? There's Albert Pujols. How this man managed to get through what? He probably swung the bat 60, 70 times. This guy is going on the IL for 60 days at least. He's got zero speed. But hey, if he hits the ball over the wall like he did maybe 30 times tonight, um, <laughs> you know, I, I keep hating, but Albert Pujols, it was cool to see him. Uh, one last hoorah, but Juan Soto put him down like old Yeller. Uh, contact 92-96. The speed is usable at first base. Um, obviously, you don't need to run that far there. Uh, but again, the card looks the same as Pete Alonso. Uh, Schwarber's decent again. It, like, it's another card here. He is perfect for Moonshot. Like, this card is one of the best you can use. 89 contest uh, is excessive. It's overkill at that point. Uh, you don't need that much. But when you're actually using them in ranked seasons, Hall of Fame, Legend Difficulty, it's pretty much a lost cause. You're not going to want to do it. Uh, Jose Ramirez. Looks like a Jose Ramirez card. Um, you know, not really good contact, which is a damn shame. Ronald Acuna Jr. This one, a little, you know, a little bit better than Julio. Uh, yeah, Julio. Uh, Jose. We'll start with J, so you understand the, you know, the misconception there. Uh, he's 80 speed, 85 arm. He's okay. Corey Seager, again, 86, 88 contact. I'm kind of shocked they even got that high. Nothing crazy. The power, of course, really carries the card. Uh, then I think it's mainly just the regular fielding and speed. 
But, you know, these are all stir difficulty cards. And if you're on that, you know, if you're in the, what, 300 to 699 rating, these are great cards. I highly recommend picking them up for a low price. They're about quick sell value. Um, the big thing here, Juan goes for 250 So does Julio. Yeah. You think I'm not going to open these? One of 10 odds. Never tell me the odds, damn it. I'm pulling them. Well, I, I backed out. I, I meant to. I've waited so long. We've been streaming for 13 hours for this. That's okay. It would be unfair to broadcast 299 overall polls. No, that was just unforeseeable. Who could have possibly pictured that? Um, wow. You know what? I don't really give a shit. You know, we only lost like half our stubs. We lost 30k there. Will I financially recoup? No, I'm likely filing for stub bankrupt, uh, bankruptcy soon. And uh, from here on out, this will be the team. This is where we at now. Oh, whatever. You know, I like the cards a lot. Uh, Julio Rodriguez is going to be the best center fielder in the game. I promise you that fielding does not matter. 64 really is not that big of a deal. When you got 99 speed, you can afford to make up for a poor reaction. You know, maybe he was smoking a little bit. His judgment's a little impaired, but he's easily able to make a beeline towards the ball, make the play. And as long as we end up on that note, we are fine. You and I are going to have no problems. And you're going to do a lot on the offensive end. 102, 103 contact is great. The Soto is still a decent card. It's just 50 speed and 57 arm is so fucking tough. You got to have one. And if nothing else, I wouldn't want to use this card in right field. Left field is where the shitty defender should go. Hence why, like, Christian Yelich plays there. Um, so, I'm going to have an even bigger hit. He's going to go to bronze defense. As if it could get any worse here for Mr. Juan Soto. And it's one power less. And, uh, like, a combined seven contact. Wow, Julio. I, I bet you feel real bad for losing the derby. You let us all down. Uh, so, huge day today. We have all these brand new cards. And they're going to go towards the Jackie Robinson program. This one is not going to be worth it. I'm going to go ahead and say that now. If these cards are going for 250 per, I'm sorry. I, I think the Jackie's a great card. But 500k on top of 50k with you know, 4 times 15 kicker. Uh, I'm not even good at math. I'm just going to tell you it's a shit ton of stubs and more than you should bargain for for getting Roberto Clemente on amphetamines but hey you choose what to do with your own stubs i will get him in time but uh you know that time probably is not tonight it certainly is not right now you know like john Cena, you know, the time is not now baby uh maybe eventually uh we will see him on our team but uh for the time being julio we'll see gameplay tomorrow let me know what you guys think if you guys open packs i hope you didn't and uh let me know what cards you look to add to your team here are you gonna give some of them a shot the pete alonzo i like his swing the pooh holes just stop i mean you're just doing that for sympathy at that point but hey leave a like if you guys enjoy subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel uh a late one and we're gonna do it all again tomorrow have a good one